Hello everyone, this is Christina Wallace and I am going to show you how to make this lovely exotic hibiscus flower out of cold porcelain, black Medena. I'm going to be talking slightly less because I have a really horrible hay fever which is why this upload is a bit late and with that let's get started. For my hibiscus I'm going to use Simply Nature Vena. In my opinion they can be hit and miss but this one is fantastic and I'm going to measure the petals in order to know how long to make my central piece of this hibiscus let's call it trunk I'm not sure what it's actually called any botanists out there anyone who knows more about flower parts do please drop us a line in the comments and so I have to say I will spend a lot of time on this trunk uh, central part of hibiscus because it's um, yeah it's a very distinctive characteristic feature of it so uh, I decided that I am going to invest in its centerpiece time wise and this wire I'm using the thinniest I could find which is and I think the thinniest there is gauge 35 I got it from Etsy I think 33 should do as well if you don't have 33 perhaps try maybe not wire although I do like using wire for uh, for kind of little strands and stamens simply because it gives me I think more control and so before getting any clay on the wire I add a bit of glue I don't actually glue this um, clay in glue but I do add a little bit for it to stick well and here we go and so here is the base for our so-called trunk and I've decided to make it nine centimeters so a centimeter longer than the width I mean the length of the petal and based on the final result I think it was about right it could be a touch longer but not much longer but really it's up to you it depends what look do you like Now I have considered using this paints for to color in the base of my trunk. However, I've been having slight difficulties getting my oil paint to dry lately. I've just discussed this with some of you on my social media. And so while I'm researching it and trying to deal with that difficulty, I am just going to use dusts, or if you have chalks, you could use those, to color the base of the trunk which is what I'm making right now and then as you can see I've used a little bit of oil paint just for the little top dots on the top this twiddling like technique in cold porcelain it's used a lot especially for uh, all the stems and things like that and it could be made really beautiful in my experience there aren't all that many tricks to it it really is a matter of experience and um, yeah I am far from perfect at it it is easy to make the nice and smooth finish if you for a short lengths of your strings or whatever and so I am going to probably run a video on how to do this nicely and if I found any particular tricks or tricks to doing it at some point but as it stands just do your best and don't be tough on yourself if what comes out is not perfect and so at the end you always smoothen it this part with a little bit of cream on your fingers and and now you move on to your cut pieces of very very thin wire and make sure you add glue 
before you insert it into the clay simply because without glue it may start falling out and once it's dry it would be harder to fix it so add a bit of glue and then once it's dried you could reposition the angle of this little stamens I hope it makes sense so basically don't worry too much at what angle they're sticking out and whether they're straight this is quite a time-consuming process but actually not as bad as it seems now a quick but huge thank you to all my regular subscribers and viewers you are making this channel what it is or at least you play a big part in it and if it's your first time I create flowers and upload tutorials most weeks and botanical sculpture is really my thing so if it's yours too and you work in sugar or cold porcelain please subscribe this channel is loads of fun so now you hopefully subscribed I am going to show you how to cut out this petal just using the mold and not having any cutters whatsoever I don't make that many hibiscus so having a cutter would probably be a bit of a overkill for me and this vena happened to be an ideal candidate for this kind of an impression just look at this amazing clear clean line I'm just going to take my wheel tool PME wheel tool or you could just use uh, a little knife and voila you have your perfect shaped little hibiscus leaf I must admit I was wondering uh, whether working with a black Moderna would be different than working with um, normal white Moderna due to black color being added even in a factory setting and sadly it does it does affect it this clay is nothing as elastic as the Moderna I'm used to it's very brittle and as you will be able to see throughout this video it does break petals a little bit as it goes I don't actually mind because uh, this flower is not for not not to a specification it's for myself and I don't mind that rustic look but that is something to bear in mind I think it's possible to make it not break but probably with a slightly less jiggity vena and this vena is lovely it's absolutely nothing wrong with it and it would work with non-black clay and it certainly would work with sugar but yeah this Moderna is just a little bit too dry and I don't see any way of any way around it as um, as we speak I mean it does work for rose but just for something like this it comes with certain tearing and, um, it, and if you add petal base or other lubricant then unfortunately it becomes a little bit too shiny and that shine sadly as well does not go away so it's quite a tricky clay to work with but I did really enjoy making black black hibiscus Okay, so now I'm going to show you quite a classic way of uh, wiring cold porcelain, especially big uh, petals like this. Normally it would work very well this method because we're using glue, but in this case it, I'm going to be upfront with you, it did not work as well as could have done because of again me using the black cold porcelain. If you use this method with white cold porcelain, the glue just dries and that's all there is to it. You don't really see it, don't see the lines. However, with the black clay, when the glue dried, it turned out that I, it, you could really, really see it. It does stand out. Uh, just those little lines that didn't quite get hidden. And so it wasn't 
not on all the petals but you need to be if you want to use this method you need to be really really precise and neat and in my opinion it's just easier to wire it traditionally if you do want to wire it like I've just shown you make sure you roll your petals very thick in the middle okay so now it's the next day and I'm going to work on that trunk middle thingy again and I'm going to use a clear glue now I've only just discovered it and it's wonderful now this is a cheap but thick brush and I'm hoping that it would cover it evenly and nicely because I'm planning to use dust on it hopefully it won't ruin my brush uh, that glue underneath I'm just trying to thread carefully basically and as I mentioned I'm uh, researching more facts on using oil paints on cold porcelain so for the time being I am using dust and I'm very happy with this dust and I'm gonna fixate it afterwards obviously so dust don't fall off fixate fixative works really well for all the colors except for black so I'm gonna fixate the middle and perhaps not the rest. I have actually tried to use fixative for a rose I did for a flower arrangement recently and I didn't like it. It came out too shiny and I had to matten it again. So all in all a fixative and I, I just need to look for a different make I think. But um, yeah so now I'm going to use these two edible dusts to create a duster for the leaves. Now one of those days I'm going to get chalks so bear with me for now with my food dust. So make sure you go across the texture so only the ridges, the ridges that stand out can get a little bit of dusting. It's quite easy to do actually due to the very texture, textured finish of this leaf this vein now so you might have to play around so make sure you get yourself extra leaves I may I always make extra for palette and what have you and here I'm adding a hint just a hint of pink to my leaves basically so it goes well with the middle it kind of calls back to it so to speak and we're nearly done I'm about to cover the individual the wires of my petals with a bit of a sticky tape so that they stick to the middle one, middle when I'm arranging them around the, around the stem whatever trunk whatever I call it uh, it's just my old trick and it seemed to really work for me and when it comes to chunky flowers like this I use and this is semolina which I crushed a little bit with a rolling pin and basically I'm adding chunks of glue and glue sits really nicely it's a sticky glue I got from Hobbycraft it sits really nicely on those teeny weeny stems and Simulina gets on it and works beautifully absolutely beautifully I love this technique I think it works it makes it look really pretty and um, yeah and I just really really think it makes for a natural look and it takes less time in my opinion than you would think it did if you just look at the stem Actually now I'm nearly finished with this flower I think that I would attach the whole middle to the long wire straight away and not fiddle with any of this there doesn't seem to be much need to do it in two parts like this 
And now, of course, we have the assembly, the triumph of every handmade flower maker, especially the flower makers like me who go into huge detail on the flowers. And so here I'm using brown tape because I needed a thick tape for this kind of a monumental chunky flower and thin just wasn't doing it, I did try. And yeah, it's, it's nearly ready here. It does need a bit of a finish, uh, being a cold porcelain flower you make stems using clay but I'm not gonna do this because this video has gone on a bit as usual I'm making longer videos now so I'm gonna either do a separate video on stems but for now you could just have a look in the description for ready ones stems are the same for most flowers and this is it for today thank you very much for watching and subscribing and sharing on social media and i will see you all again next time